Welcome everyone to another bonus video of Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age Platinum Trophy Guide. So in this one, I'm going to be showing off basically just one hunt, the very final hunt of the game, and that is going to be Yasmat Farewell to a Legend. So it is located in the Colosseum of the Rio Nara Cataract, and I'm actually right there right now. So here we go, now before I begin, let me just quickly talk about what you need to do to set up. Obviously, the higher the levels your party, the better. As you can see, all mines are pretty high level, except for Fran and possibly Bosch, but I'm not really going to use Bosch and Fran. Well, Fran I'm not. Bosch only for a little bit. But you'll see. Here's my equipment. So that's for Vaughn. Um, honestly, it's not too hard to get all these different things here. Uh, for you, I have the Ragnarok, but if you can Ixion, Circle It, Lordly Rose, and Bubble Belt. And then for Ash, the Masamune, Mage Power, Shishak, Maximilian and Genji Gloves, and eventually for Penelo when I bring her in, this is her stuff right here, Zodiac Spear, Mage Power, White Robes, Bubble Belt, and then Bosch. I'm just going to give him an accessory once I switch from Vaughn, but that's him right there. And then the Helm as well, I'm going to switch to that. But what you want to do in the beginning of this battle is use Wither. The reason why I have Vaughn out is because only he can use Wither for my entire party, so I have to, um, gotta work with this, you know? So then for Gambits, I mean, that's all he has near his visible, so let's do this. Let's go. Here we go. So like I said, Yasmat. The Yasmat battle is, um, it's actually a lot easier in this version of the game compared to the original Final Fantasy XII. The biggest reason why is because he is now susceptible to both Wither and Adol. Or, wait, is, is it called Adol? I think so. Um, anyway, what I'm going to do first is I actually get a Dispel. That's what you want to begin. Get a Dispel, because as you can see, you have a bunch of buffs, and you kind of don't want that to happen. Okay, so... He is withering. He is withering away. Okay. Basically, just lower that strength all the way. Ooh! Alright, so one really thing that I hate about this, and also the Hellworm battle, is the fact... And I hate this so much. I really hate it. All of his attacks have a 5% chance of death. Physical attacks, I should say. So just keep lowering that strength. Eventually it's going to get to really, really pathetic. Okay, let's see here. Um, I need to go ahead and use a Chronos tier on you. And then you need to actually get um, Gold Needle... What's your count at? I don't even know. Okay, and then... Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, let go him do that. Another gold needle right there. Let's keep lowering that strain, basically. Because after that, his attacks have become super pathetic. Okay. Oh, I'm not getting the... Oh, what the hell? Oh shoot, that's actually going to be powerful though. Because his magic has not been uh, decreased yet, his magic power. Well, it wasn't that powerful. Okay, so I'm in Sap. What I'm going to do is actually get an Esunaga going. Wait, not with you. What am I doing? Esunaga's right here. Wait, what's going on? Oh, it's been missing, that's why. Okay, good. Now, switch you in. Switch out Vaughn for Bosch, and then go to Equipment, actually, um... Well, yeah, go to Equipment, and let's see what I can actually do here. So... I think I need to remove this from you. Yeah, give you that, and then... Go to Vaughn, remove the Herm Sandals, and equip the Herm Sandals on you. Okay. And then as far as gambits go, what you want to do is add a lower one full's magic power. And you'll see. See? Lowering magic power. So his ooh, it's been dead, damn it. I haven't lowered his defense yet, but I mean I'll get to that in just a little bit. It's just that I need to lower him all the way down. Ooh. Yeah, just watch out for the 5% death, like I keep saying, because it's, um, not pretty. 
blowing that magic out, but as you can see, the Sinsport tanks are really pathetic now. Okay, go ahead and use a Chronos Tear now. So once I lower this all the way, what's going to be happening next? Wait, let me see. Okay, um... I'm going to see something really fast to see if... Oh, it's still lowering. It's still lowering, though. Interesting. Okay, uh, where the hell is this at? Is it still working? Because I do need to actually take a look at this. Uh, Chronos Tear. Okay, here it comes again. This one actually inflicts stop. As I mean, sorry, not stop. Sap. As you already know. Yeah, but for this one, as you can clearly see, I'm showing the entire battle with live commentary. Uh, which is why it's... Oh, God. A lot of status elements on me. Alright, I need to do this. Hurry up, please. Okay, now you... Hmm... Actually, yeah. Go ahead and do a, another Kronos tier. This time on you. And then I need you... To get Esunaga going. Okay, I need a... Pause this because sometimes I can't even see. It's missing, right? Yes. Okay. So I need. Okay, there we go. That. Bring you out. Equip. Remove. And then come over here. Equip this. So you have a bubble belt. Which I don't really need, honestly. Um, I just need to make you probably a mean to stop, I would say. Or I could just give you haste. Hmm. Okay, where's this at? I seriously can't find it. Here it is. Power arm. I mean, stop. Genji gloves. And then you don't need a bubble ball either. Not you've been lowered. What you need to do. Should I get a Herm Sandals or immune to stop? I would probably say immune to stop. Because that's going to help a lot more. Yeah, let's do that. Power armlet. There we go. Okay, so I think we're good. Now the next thing I'm going to do, as you can clearly see right here, is I'm going to be using Exposed to lower your defense. Here we go. So now I have two characters that are immune to stop. Oh my god, stupid death. So Ash can be affected by stop and only Ash. As you can see, like what just happened right there. I'm gonna keep going at the fence though. Still working. Oh, really? Death? Oh my god. 5% chance, I keep saying. Still lowering defense, though. Still lowering it. And here comes Cyclone yet again. But as you already know, his magic is extremely low, so there's really no issue with that at all. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is get an Esunaga, and then with you, I need to actually get Gold Needles. Oh wait, that actually worked. I get rid of that, never mind. God damn it. Stupid death, stupid death, man. Okay, let me actually pause this, because I want to see. Okay, it's missing now. Gambits, turn that off, and now we're just going to go ahead and hack away at this guy, pretty much. Do that. Bravery them both, and I should be good now. I should be. Pretty sure. Yeah. Well... I'm not going to do it with you, but instead with you. I'm going to do ally any. 
Where is it at? Right here. Okay, good. Okay, so after you lower his magic power, his strength and his defense all the way down, what you simply want to then do is just hack away. From this point on, there's going to be pretty much no commentary, just seeing the entire battle through. If you want to stick around for 15 plus minutes or whatever, that's fine and watch it. If not, then you pretty much got it. I mean, you can just skim through it. But that's going to be the basic battle against Yasma. There's going to be some key differences later on in the battle once it gets down to a few million. But aside from that, the battle's pretty straightforward now. His defense and everything is lowered all the way. So that's pretty much all that there is to do. So yeah, just go ahead and enjoy the battle.
and that right there is how you defeat Yasman. As you can see, I did speed it up quite fast because, well, I'm trying to keep these videos a little bit shorter on this whole Platinum Trophy thing. But that's pretty much how you do it. There were a couple times where, you know, obviously um, the three main characters died because he managed to get lucky really fast to kill all three really fast with that 5% death. And if that happens, switch to your reserve members, immediately spam Phoenix Towns on your dead party members, and then switch back when it's not being targeted, and the people are not targeted. Aside from that, the yellow seasons reflect when he has about 5 bars left. Make sure to use Dispel Gun on yourself to get rid of that right away. But, other than that, the battle is pretty straightforward, actually. But yeah, there we go. That is Yasmat Hunter Extraordinaire Battle complete. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.